you know, I almost lost my cool. Because when I'm with my employers who try to gaslight me to accept false memories, I, I get angry and they just try to kind of disorient you. I've made a lot of videos about how they've been manipulating my memories. Actually, my first video I made about memory manipulations was about three years ago, like yesterday. Yesterday was three years exactly when I made a video about how they can change my memories and creating narrative perceptions, things that I'd never experienced at the time, but changing in my memories and make me feel like I'm experiencing it. Today, what they like to do is go back wherever there's a black little girl, right? And make me experience the feeling I'm experiencing today that they say they mapped it to me when I was a child. And so they go into my memories, figure out where there's a black little girl, make me experience that sensation and stimulation they make me experience today that they say they mapped it when I was a child. And so you see, we mapped it, you, get, you experience that. And then they try to gaslight you into experience things. And uh, they, they try to gaslight you to make, seem, make it seem like you experience that feeling that they make you experience today that they mapped it to you as a child. And then they try to gaslight you to accept this false memory, but like disorienting you Oh, it's gonna burn if you're gonna worry, you know, whatever torture that they're gonna try to use to compensate from the reality. Because at this point, they know that reality has embarrassed them, humiliated them in the ways that they can even not comprehend. There is no doubt they know what the part of things they hear. This is not a, a, a program that does anything protective to children, it's the opposite, it brings danger around people. Not these people doing that, obviously, but the people who end up being the reason, when people lose their mind, those perps involved in that, they're not gonna be the one dealing with this, the consequences. When you hear of mass shooters who talk about they were target individuals, and perhaps some of the victim could actually be children. Meaning like when they do these shootings and they don't care who they shoot, they are trying they're just mad, they know that they're gonna die. This is a way for them before they die, they wanna make sure that people know that they were targeting individuals. So they do these things and like, this is why I did it. I was a human subject in this thing. This shit that tried to create this psyop, wanted to make themselves be subscribed, make me subscribe to this fantasy of what this program is about. And reality refused to give that these people not only do these things to men and women, but actually torture children. So you hear these people who not only manipulate your current brain and your memories, but also involved in programs that torture infants and children of all ages. These people are parents and mothers. And so for me, they falsify those memories. For example, right now, is my, they did that before and it was so disgusting, but it was a specific moment. Now they try to create more of my, friend at the time his cousins had a daughter who's like she grew i think i was around I, I saw her grow until like maybe seven years old or so i think around that time so and she's a black little girl a black little girl from you know the mother's african or whatever and so they're trying to implant this reaction they make me have today that they say we mapped it to you when you're black little girl this is you Right, and so that's why you hear noise campaign when they try to make me think of that, and get this reaction that I falsified, which they can plant in memories, and so they do noise campaign and things to try to box in these false memories. If you go through my videos, you'll see a lot of videos about memory manipulation, all about the same thing, but different memories they try to manipulate. And I say the same thing: they're gonna look around and see where they can manipulate memories. Where there's a child, a black little girl, preferably, and they can do these feelings, this reaction they make me have today, and say, we mapped it. And then they try to, for example, they tell me they're going to cut my, it's like, they're going to cut my hands and everything else. And, they, and then they're like, because when you were in middle school, you did this thing, I did something stupid to myself as a child, right? This is when, when they make me experience things today, and then they, when they want me to subscribe to this falsification of my memories, it's like, no, we mapped it to, to you as a child. You, you felt like that. And they said, no, that's then. Remember, remember what you did as a kid in middle school? Die for it. That's fucking middle school kid who did something stupid. Right? These people are involved in a program that tortured children and women. And this, this mass shooter that just happened not too, too long ago, who sounds very much like a target individual. I don't know if it's true. But he sounds like another target individual who lost his mind, had a bunch of guns, and decided to go this way, kill a bunch of people and then die. 
Sounds like Aaron Alexis. But this, this guy killed even more people, 18 people. Some of them were kids. The youngest person they killed was a 14-year-old kid. Now, I'm not sure if it's a target individual, but it sounds like a target individual because of the same symptoms that Aaron Alexis was talking about, which I experienced too. But I'm not a violent person. I get angry, but I'm not a violent person. I get, I, I get mad because I see these people who are parents and mothers and rational people and think that this makes sense. That you think I should look at you in different ways. And when you say, Dad, you're going to burn. It's like, I would jump in the fire and do what you do. I'll scream. I'm in pain. I'll, you know, I'll be in, you see me watch me die. The cowardly way you watch people been going through mass shootings and everything else. But one thing is for sure. If I had to do this thing all over again, I would not choose to be in your shoes. Unfortunately, if I had to choose between my sufferings, my horrible sufferings, and your fucking low lifeness, your cowardness, I would rather suffer this way. How much obvious that these people know that this soul is sold to this. But for me, this person, what makes me angry is as they falsify these memories. They're like literally making me imagine, like, because I remember they started off with this false memory. My friend, um, we're very close. And they threw a party for the, the little girl, but it was a party for adults. And so the party lasted till like three in the morning or so, something like that. And I remember that moment where it was like so late. This kid should have not been up. This girl was like between five or seven, six, between, I think five and seven, around that. And he's carrying this little girl like three in the morning. Hey, thank you guys for, and I remember seeing that. I was like, this is crazy. This kid, this kid should be at home. She, be, she, she should be in bed. And they tried to say, you see, when he lifted, you see how you looked at the oh, disgusting things. And it started like that. And then it started giving me the sensation and feelings like, yeah, we mapped it to, to what you experienced when you were a kid, when you saw black little girls. And so I was like, this is the things I've been talking about all throughout my freaking targeting my videos literally three years ago about how they do these things. They are forcing me to have falsified memories and give me experience that I did not experience at the time. They are nasty low lives. I'd rather fucking die. You know, in my head, sometimes they make me think they heard this. I was like, please do. I'm dying. Like, uh, Please. Uh, these people are involved in the worst. Th they involved in some so much disturbing things, and then have the audacity to be like you burn your your fan. That's like there is no torture that I will experience that will erase the reality of what you're part of. None of that, your fantasy will, there's no amount of screaming or crying that I will experience. There's no amount of death I'm going to experience that is going to change what you're part of, you piece of shit. For you to delude yourself, to even block out after so, some, some mass shooting that could actually be caused because of this program, right? And there's a strong possibility because of the, sim the, the things this guy has said. This is a strong, like it sounded exactly like one of the target individuals who ended up going crazy and shooting a bunch of people. And you're trying to be like, you're gonna pay for everything. What? First of all, you want me to subscribe to this falsified falsify memory. That's why you like, you try to box in, oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna see. It's like, there is no screaming. I'm never gonna subscribe to this false, false memory because I'm gonna scream. My pain, you think pain makes somebody believe false memories? Or you think pain is validation of a false memory? Delusional trash, you see, you just saw it. one of these 18 people who died. Youngest was 14 years old. A, ba a freaking child was killed. A child. He just started just, just nasty shit. And these people are like trying to, now you pay for it. When you, and on top of that, forget about even this recent mass shooting. We know that they torture children. This burning of the hands, we talk about my hands because they want to exaggerate what I did as a child who's in middle school. Just turned 14, just about to turn 14. Doing some stupid things. You're in a program that burns babies. 
they, they get them sick, the plague, you know, their plague, getting them spot and everything. They do these things. Torture them sexually. Some of them is like, and you'll burn. I mean, you, what do you think is going to happen to people who do what you do? How do you think it comes back? You hear the people who tell you it won't come back to you? There are childlike individuals who try to counter what I'm saying and try to agitate me by saying, it won't. You hear who's talking, it's like, please, if you ever want to put your faith in anything, if you hear somebody say that, that way, with that voice, <laughs> better not rely on that. This, this perps try to interact with me to block out what I'm saying because it's obvious that in life, you know, people believe in such a things as the universe. You do these horrible things, somehow it's going to come back to you. Now, I hear perps who are childlike individuals, which is an indication of what kind of people they like to contract, who tell me, no, you won't. You hear somebody talk to you like that, first of all, for me, I understand they try to agitate me. But if you're somebody involved and you're watching this and you hear this person saying that, it's like, oh, fuck. Sounding just like that, <laughs> he's like, yo, yeah, that's it. Mm. Maybe I should like go and do some charity work or something. And then you see them, <laughs> Jesus. It becomes something else. So there, the, this, the, the anger I got was this person wanting me to accept this false memory hearing this trash talking with this tonality making themselves laugh after we hear about the mass shooting that potentially was caused by a target indiv individual and if it's not exactly this is what a target individual have done before a for sure target individual who literally said the reason why I ended up killing 12 people is because of this thing that's happening to me where I'm forced to hear these voices I'm being influenced by these waves Literally saying that, and this is why I killed 12 people. This is why I killed so many people. Then you hear this trash. It's like, I killed you, and you fucking low life. And they torture kids. But somehow think, oh no, we're different. What? What if I was this kind of person too? For me, it's just. I pray that I never get to that point because if I'd ever do something like that where I end up killing people and then get out of that, it would destroy me. If I wake up of that moment of just like doing something that bad, I couldn't, I would lose it. But this is trash. Man. Nobody is even talking about, you know, usually where I work, they like to talk about, and I haven't seen it yet. Maybe they send it before. Nobody's talking about, oh, another mass shooting. I hope these people mass shoot. You know, I didn't hear any, any of them. No recognition. Maybe they have sent it. Maybe I, I looked at it. But not, not many people are talking about that. It's so nasty. And now, it, this woman is much older, right? She's not somebody who is... She's pro closer to the end of her life. In the sense of, like, she's getting closer to retirement in the, in the age wise she's she lived a long life you can see she's 60 plus right she's young but she's not that young she's like you know getting close to the end of her like she's at the sunset of her life based on age and you see her face and i'm like you i could see her face and just i start thinking about all this torture they've done to kids and even though she's not the one specifically who is responsible, but just that face, the, the, know, the knowledge of knowing that there's somebody who just ended up killing a bunch of people, knowing that they torture women this way, they torture babies this way, and I could say, oh my gosh, I almost snapped. It's just like, oof, you are. It's just so nasty. Now, how are they going to compensate for that? How they gonna compensate for being involved in a program that is so nasty when they try to play this fierce femme fatale who are protecting their community and their families and children? They're gonna compensate by torturing me. To try to make it seem like, you see, we're gonna torture you, so we're gonna. The torture might cover up for the fact that we're involved in a program that is actually torturing the most vulnerable, the babies, we're causing. 
mass shootings, we're torturing, we're using human subjects in these ways, we're doing this disturbing. We are definitely, if there's such thing as a hell or heaven, we definitely sign up for hell. If there's such thing as that. We are cowards, we are trash, we are low life, we're the nastiest, we keep calling ourselves gods when we're just the nobodies. The, the entities running this program are filled with pedophiles. We do this program of perversions. We do these manipulations where we force memories to change and try to gaslight somebody into accepting these false memories. But threatening him, warning him of torture and horrible things. Trash. For me, it's just, I'm going to say all I can say while I can say it. And knowing that there'll be a day when I can't see it. And you just got to be strong. You got to see these things for what it is. These people are going to try to memory, manipulate me and make me accepting of this manipulation. And with time, it's just going to get worse. And I'm not even talking about just like the physical aspect of things. I'm talking about the psychological things. The memories just fraying, just, just dissolving, just... Like just kind of eroding, like one said, and just being replaced by a new version of how they can just change memories. We know that memories is, as one said, it's like a wax impression. It is not something solid. You can change that. Memory manipulation is something real. It's something that they can do now in the mainstream world. So you can understand that on, on that side of this world, on, on us as human subject work for, 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 for this department of defense entities, <laughs> Jesus, we, I mean, they can really do so much more. And I know they can, it seems like they sometimes try to be like just a little bit, just, but if they wanted just to bah, just explode everything in my brain, they could maybe they try to kind of prolong things to take, get more results. But they're nasty low lives. To all my target individuals, stay strong. Because this trash will try to push you into insanity and push you to lose control and do something. Which is understanding. It's this understandable. You, you, there's so much somebody can take before you lash out. Before you lose your mind. Um, and do something. But it's not, not going to change anything. It's going to th make things worse for other target individuals, actually. Um... It's going to make us, you know, they, they're going to use that as like, oh, you know, what, what? You're hearing people are talking to, you know, like things like that. They're going to use that. Um, and I don't think it's any, does any good. But what it does is for this trash that wanted to create this psyop, wanted to create this fantasy of what they were, of what, how they tried to present themselves as, as this protective community, as, as this just people who just avenging shall you pay our children and you hear there's mass shooting that even maybe be pushed by this this program that caused to kill a kid and there's 18 dead and this is official we're not talking about testimonials of like of a target individual who they don't even believe but who says that my children are being tortured my child is being tortured by this psychological tormenting and and other the re remote technology that is frying them, getting them sick, blinding them. You understand? This, this trash. There's no sufferance that's going to change that. 